In this video I'm going to talk about uh, how to set up a portfolio page with the page builder. Now uh, you probably already um, saw the previous uh, tutorials on, on uh, how to set up a portfolio archive page. This one will exclusively use the uh, page builder which again I uh, totally recommend it. So let's create a page, a new page. I'm going to say portfolio demo. I will enable the page builder, publish, and I'm going to edit this page with the page builder. So I'm going to start by adding some quick stuff to make it look a bit uh, better. I'm going to first add the custom subheader. Great. Now a section. And to make things better, I'm going to add a title. I'm going to say portfolio with page builder. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and let me align it to the left. things pretty <laughs> good so now uh, we should be able to add the portfolio elements now when you just uh, start typing the portfolio um, to search the elements you will find the uh, three elements I will exclude this one because as you can see here it's a header type of uh, element is full width, it's uh, for entirely different purposes, is to be placed into this uh, part of the website, so I won't talk about it. But I'm going to talk about these two. Now, this one is a portfolio archive. Like I said, an archive means where all the items are listed. Now, I'm going to tra drag this one here and Voila, here is by default the uh, sortable uh, layout is uh, selected. Now, if I open the options of uh, this uh, element, you can choose the layout. For the moment, I'll just say portfolio sortable. You can choose uh, the categories and number of portfolio items per page. Now, of course, you won't have four, but you might want around, I don't know, 20 or so. You might want to change the column number. Uh, this option is specific for uh, this uh, portfolio, um, portfolio sortable. So, <clears throat> let me just save this one. As you can see, because I've changed to 20, uh, 20 items, it's going to show up a lot more. Well, that's about it. I'm going to publish this. I'm going to view the page. And as you can see, this is the most easiest way to uh, make a portfolio with the page builder. Now. Let me also <coughs> try to uh, change the layout for the portfolio. Now I change to portfolio category. This does not have any uh, extra, I don't know, uh, tweaks or it's just a simple category uh, layout. You can also change to portfolio carousels. It would be better if you uh, 
put as many as few as possible I mean around five it's okay and that's because um, let me just save it as you can see each uh, each one has uh, images inside so uh, the by adding too many will uh, truly affect the performance of the page so I'm just going to publish as you can see we have a pagination here too and the uh, listings of the portfolio items so that's about it uh, if you want to play more with the options feel free but it's nothing much it's uh, actually a very simple element and if you do want to add this uh, page to the menu just copy this uh, or no do not copy it <laughs> sorry just uh, go to the menus in uh, appearance and as you can see the uh, the page has been um, updated in this uh, pages uh, uh, box and I'm going to add it to the menu and that's about it like I said I really really recommend this uh, uh, adding the portfolio like this because it's easier it's faster it's much more customizable you can add as many elements here or here or even change the custom subheader or you can add a, a custom uh, contact form here I don't know you can have you have a, a huge freedom of uh, choice and if you want to also duplicate this page you can always use the save new temp template uh, feature of the page builder so in my opinion this is if you want a portfolio this is the way to go now you also might want to uh, I don't know create a uh, custom portfolio pages for example let's say uh, I'm going to create another um, page this is uh, let me show you let me show you you will you will understand so we have in the demo we have this uh, portfolio item and as you can see it has a custom subheader it has some uh, nice features uh, here and there it also has a contact form here now remember this this wouldn't have happened if you would have used the default WordPress system this is only available for the page builder now if I edit this with page builder you can notice that these are elements and you can pretty much customize it as much as you want and say you want to uh, make more the page more interesting for example you want in this custom subheader to have a, a entire movie or movie sorry video about uh, what you want to display to look much better so this is the portfolio item page and like I told before when you were searching for the portfolio uh, sp specific portfolio elements you will find the portfolio and portfolio item content now this is the portfolio item content as you can see it does not have any settings the the gear icon is missing here so you just add it and that's it you have um, you have the content for this uh, specific uh, page so that's about it if you if you have questions if uh, you cannot uh, manage to uh, set up this portfolio or I don't know even if if you want to provide some feedback feel free to contact us and 
uh, also if you want to sh uh, start a new thread on our support forums again feel free so that's about it thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye